This video is brought to you by 3, bringing you 4G at no extra cost and some exclusive deals over at btech.com. Hey guys, welcome to BTEC. It's Basil here with an Nokia Lumia 1020 and we're talking you through Windows 8.1. We've just updated our phone. We did this by becoming a developer, even though we're not really developers. And you can find out how to do that by heading over to btech.com. The text is below. As for the actual update itself, it packs this thing full of stuff. It takes about an hour to do in total um, while you're doing something else on the side, but it is well worth the wait. Just make sure you're charged up before you get to it. Inside the phone you can see you've still got your start menu and on the right hand side you've got all your applications but if we jump into the settings we can change our start menu very extensively we can change a background photo for example just jump through here background photo let's crop it into something nice that's a London eye I took for a camera comparison earlier in the week we can also choose how many icons display on the screen so if we then jump home after doing this we can see that has taken effect. Bringing that closer into frame, you can make out we have some very tiny icons in there. So this might not be perfect for someone who's a little bit harder of sight, for example, but it will be perfect for anybody who wants a little bit of space saving on their Nokia Lumia 1020. We can pull all our applications right in there and you can see it takes advantage of that background very, very nicely. If we do have bigger application icons though, um, the background is shown off to greater effect. So both of these look good. This is maybe more economical. Larger icons look a little bit better. The actual applications tray is exactly the same. You can jump through to letters and that's pretty much the crux of the user experience. All the major changes are in the settings, except for one, and this is the biggest user experience tweak there is, and that is the action center. We finally have a centralized notification center up at the top. Pulling it down, we can see we also get more detailed notification information than we would say on Android, and they can be swiped out of the way very, very easily. It provides you with four quick toggles at the top and a shortcut to the settings menu. So if we were to take a look at the notification plus action option in the settings menu, we can also toggle out some of these quick settings. Um, for example, rather than have rotation lock in here, we might choose to have brightness. And so we can press through on that, jump backwards, and we've got, sorry, whoops, brightness up there. You can toggle it automatic, low, medium, but let's keep ours high. Swipe Gmail out of the way. You can see we just got a notification in there and we can take a look at some of our other settings of note. There aren't any changes to the lock screen. Um, I'm keeping on scrolling down. You have a battery saver mode on here. So that enables you to manage power with a 2000 milliamp battery on here. Anyone who switches it on will be much better served because it's not all that big. The conserves battery life um, optionally when the battery is low until you next plug it into a charger or always. And that will limit the functionality of the actual phone itself. So we've got battery saver switched on now. We've also got data sense and storage sense as we have seen before. Um, if we keep scrolling down we can also find sync my settings which will sync your settings across all your Lumia devices you've got um, uh, 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 keep on scrolling down display settings now this is probably the one of the coolest things that we've seen given the fact whoops let's pull that closer in so it doesn't out of focus given the fact the Lumia 1020 packs an AMOLED display which can tend to blue hue quite heavily off angle color profile management is really really useful so you can adjust things like the color temperature make it a little bit warmer and you've got multiple pictures with which to balance it against and you can also control saturation now the fact you've got a 1020 means you're probably going to have a lot of pop but if you want more i.e an AMOLED display sorry if you want more you can just tweak the color saturation right there so really nice to see Nokia do that you've also got sunlight readability and battery saver brightness as well scrolling down even more and you can see storage check you've got additional glance screen features but this will roll out whatever version you have so glance screen and interval always on when charging glance screen in Info, lock screen notifications or my text and night mode red green or blue 
scrolling out and you can see that's pretty much expunged all the settings but not quite all of them there is something called Cortana anyone who's played Halo will know it as a character anyone who has seen Windows Phone 8.1 coverage will know it as a cross between Siri and uh, Google now tapping through on Cortana in the activations you have to activate it when you first get your hands on it and you can tweak a whole load of settings in here with regards to Cortana if you're in the UK like us you'll have to be a little bit shifty you'll have to set your location to US in order to activate Cortana if you are in the US so you will already have access to it but we've got it we can quickly show you how it works we've set it as a shortcut but you can also access it by pressing the search option set an alarm for tomorrow at 8 p.m. and pretty much works very similarly to Google Now. Um, we can try something else, for example, tell me about Barack Obama. See, that wasn't quite so on point. So let's kill that. Um, and you can see just like Siri, just like Google Now, it's gonna be pretty hit and miss, but there is nothing wrong with having an, something um, on here that does that kind of function. Also, it's worth saying that Cortana is in beta stage as it stands, and you can also type through anything you want and it will use Bing search. Hopefully you have enjoyed our quick run through as to what is new with Windows Phone 8.1. If you have any questions about it, ping them in the comments section below. Remember, if you do want to upgrade your Lumia 1020 to Windows Phone 8.1, check out the text below for the upgrade process at btech.com and head over to btech where you can find the latest in smartphones, tablets, smart gadgets, and some awesome deals as well. Thanks for watching. At the top of the screen is where you can find three hand-picked videos for your viewing pleasure. On the left is where you can subscribe and on the right hand side you can find some exclusive deals if you head over to btext.com.